So I can use this sucker for that. I feel like the cooler is like extra loud today. So sorry guys if it's annoying. Hello YouTube fam and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time clicking on my channel, you've never met me before. Hi, I'm Julia, nice to meet you. I'm one of those weird people where when I meet people for the first time, I like to give hugs. So today's gonna be an unboxing video. We haven't done a monthly unboxing in a really long time. I skipped my FabFitFun, I think it was summer. Yeah, because I had just had Penelope and I don't know, I thought by the time I could actually get around to filming, editing, and uploading the video, the video would be so saturated. And I did actually cancel my BoxyCharm subscription as well, but if you like to watch monthly unboxing videos, I will link a playlist uh, up here, a clickable link, that white rectangle, and then I'll also leave the link down below for you guys in the description box. I'll put videos mentioned. So today's video is actually one that I've never tried before, and this video is not sponsored. The company did send me the box for free, but they're not paying me to make this video. When the company reached out to me, I was like, hmm, I'm actually kind of intrigued. It's actually a Japanese and Korean beauty box. It's called No Makeup, No Life, and it's actually from Japan. So I'm excited that the beauty products are gonna be authentic J and K beauty items, which if you are a subscriber of mine, you guys know I'm so into Korean skincare. I love everything I've tried. I have a super, super old review video on Korean skincare. I'll link it up here and then down below, but they just dominate in the beauty category. Now, the parent company of this box also has a snack monthly subscription box. It's called Tokyo Treat, and that one is a monthly Japanese snack box. I think they have like a $22.50 classic box, and then a $31.50 monthly premium box where you get a bunch of snacks. And then they also have another monthly subscription, but more like toys and plushies and stationery. That one actually looks really intriguing. You guys know I'm more into beauty, which is why I have the beauty one, but this one actually looks super cute. I think it's called Yumi Twins, and they have Sanrio, they have Totoro, Pikachu. Side note, I was obsessed with my neighbor Totoro. Totoro, whatever, I say Totoro. When I was little, so they have little merchandise from that, all different kinds of cool brands, and that one I think is the same price as the beauty one, which is 35 bucks a month, or I mean if you order, pre-order like six months, it's like $32 a box, and then you know, they have deals where the more boxes you order at a time, the cheaper monthly it is. But yeah, so I'll link the beauty box, then I'll link the snack box, then I'll link the plushies, toys, stationery box. And the links are affiliate links. The only reason I signed up for the affiliate link is I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do a video on this and I'm gonna link the product for you guys anyways, I might as well sign up for their affiliate program. So yeah, really cute little box. It is free shipping worldwide, which is really nice as well. You're supposed to get eight to nine products per month. And yeah, I'm like super curious to see what's in here. I haven't opened it yet. This is August's box, which is past obviously, but you can get an idea of the type of things you would get. So it says, hey beautiful, love your box, share and tag, no makeup, no life cute little paper and here's what we have so oh man this says volume 31 august 2019 and the theme is ready set glow what is this oh yeah cool so it just gives you all the little products how to use them what they are type things so that's really nice and helpful especially because yeah a lot of this looks like it is not in english yeah the whole thing is not in English, so this is helpful. The first thing, this is called Choco Mint Face Mask. Oh, perfect, and this is a Japanese skincare item. So it says Choco Mint is super trendy in Japan and not only when it comes to food, even sheet masks come in this trendy flavor. Cacao moisturizes the skin while the mint tightens and refreshes, and on top of that, this mask smells amazing. So yeah, basically this is a tightening mask. The one thing I can make out is it says 10 to 15 minutes, so I assume you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I love trying sheet masks. They're fun, quick, and easy, just the way I like it. No, I'm just kidding. 
Next, ooh, I'm excited. Snail Essential Cream. One of my favorite moisturizers of all time is a Bergamot, I think is the brand. I don't remember, Snail Cream. It's actually in that Korean skincare review that I was talking about earlier in the video that's linked down below. But for some reason, my skin loves the snail essence or whatever ingredient, so I'm excited about this. Snail secretion filtrate will provide nutrients and elasticity to your skin. And this is a Korean skincare item. Oh, this one actually has some English. So it says snail cream contains 10 different kinds of seed extracts are added to make your skin moisturize and make your skin gloss and smooth. So it comes in this little resealable packet and I'm excited to try this. Next we have a multi-gloss. The brand is Daydream Unicorn two-way lip and eye gloss. This is not super intriguing to me, I'll be honest. This says everyone can use some extra glamour in their life and that's why we've included the Aurora Eye and Lip Topper. Okay, it's a topper. In your box comes either silver, purple, or pink. I must have gotten silver. So let's open this puppy up real quick. Not gonna lie, this is really tiny and it smells, I don't know, it smells kind of chemically or something, but let's see. Oh, you know, that is actually pretty. I'm surprised. So the packaging itself is kind of cheesy, kind of like something you might buy from the dollar store maybe? I don't know, it doesn't have the prices of each product listed. I'm not crazy about lip toppers, that's just me personally, but there's this guy. Next, I'm seeing another mint chocolate themed. This is Mint Chocolate Moist Lip Pack. The brand is Choosy. I love lip masks because I happen to have really dry, flaky lips all the time. So you could have gotten mint chocolate or banana chocolate. And it just says, apply the lip pack for smooth and hydrated lips. Apply for 5 to 30 minutes for best result. These lip packs make your lips smooth and smell amazing. I feel like mint chocolate is a weird smell for face or lip products, but I don't know. We'll see. So next thing in here is the lovely cookie blusher. I'm excited about this. This is kind of what I was really hoping for is like makeup products. And this says, give some color to your face with these adorable blushers from Etude House. The smooth and creamy formula is easy to apply with the fluffy applicator. And it says it's pretty pigmented. So let's check it out. And I got mine in the color Grapefruit Jelly. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the packaging. It looks like a little macaroon or something. And this little puff is adorable. I probably won't use the puff to apply, but it's so cute. And ooh, it's just like a very traditional pink. Ooh, it feels so nice. Let's see. Oh, and it is pretty pigmented. The formula feels really, really smooth, like really just finely compressed and milled. So I'm excited to give this a try. Next, we have the whipped cream face wash. Oh my God, it says Momo on it. So this is a bubble and foaming cleanser with the Awa Pacino foaming tool that helps you lather face and body wash in no time. Comes with two packages of skin enzyme cleansing powder that you can use with the foaming tool. It looks like a little milk carton, by the way, which is kind of cute. So here's the little cleansers. I don't really know how to use this. Do you spin it? It's cute, maybe a little gimmicky. Am I gonna pull this sucker out every time I wanna mix up my face wash? Probably not. And the next thing in here is actually a Tony Moly product, which I'm excited. I love Tony Moly's packaging. I think their products are really good quality. You can buy them in Ulta. So I'm super excited about this item. What are you? It's the Petite Bunny Gloss Bar. Oh, cool. I just realized when I turn the page, it gives you instructions on how to use that. So it says, add the skin enzyme cleansing powder to the foaming tool. Sorry to skip around guys, I just saw this. But add the water until the first line for dense foam or until the second line for a creamy foam. Put the lid on and use the stick tool to pump up and down 20 seconds. 
Oh my gosh, and then it's supposed to be like foamy. Okay, actually, I'm a little more excited now. So you would pump it like this, and I can totally use my Tatcha rice powder in this, I think, which I did do a full review. I used Tatcha skincare for a month. I'll link that video up here and then again down below. But that's one thing I wasn't crazy about the rice enzyme powder from Tatcha is that like I hated mixing it on my hand. It just, well, it didn't mix well. So I can use this sucker for that. Like I said, I'm a little more excited about that. Especially this picture. Doesn't that look so intriguing to put on your face? But anyways, Julia's good old ADHD. So it says the Petite Bunny Gloss is one of Tony Moly's most popular products of all time. Not only are they super cute, these gloss bars are also very moisturizing and come in cute natural sheer colors with a glossy finish. I am so excited because quite the contrary to my makeup today, on a day-to-day -day basis, I've been really into a more no makeup makeup look, kind of natural, especially since having my baby. I don't really have time to do a full face like this anymore all the time. So, oh, it smells like strawberries, strawberries and cream. Let's swatch this. There's that right there. It does feel very moisturizing. It's very, very pinky, like Barbie pink, which is not really my favorite type. They did have other colors that could come as well. Ooh, I wish I would have gotten like a more peachy color, but that's okay. I feel like because it's sheer, I actually wouldn't mind this color so much. And it's Tony Moly, I'm so excited. Okay, and lastly, this is the Deve Dev. Deve Rose Skin Care Face Wash with natural fragrance. Contains natural rose extract, gently cleanses while hydrating skin. Leaves skin feeling soft and smooth with enchanted rose fragrance. And it looks like you could have gotten three other options. I don't know if you guys can see. Here's the other options you could have gotten. Looks like a honey one, a sumi one, and a moisture one. I'm actually excited that I got the rose one because rose in your skincare is really good for redness and balancing your skin, which lately have been really red in this area and just kind of all over. So I'm excited for this. And it does say it has all natural ingredients, which I love. Ooh, it does smell like rose which it's a natural fragrance, so I'm not super scared of this. Ooh, I'm actually excited. This is one of my favorite things in here. I can't wait. So let's recap really quick. We have the whipped cream face wash and device. We have the lip and eye topper, the snail cream, mint chocolate sheet mask, mint chocolate lip mask, lovely cookie blush, the rose face wash, and the Tony Moly lip gloss stick. So we got eight products. Final thoughts. You guys know me. My niche for my channel is that I'm very honest. I tell you guys what's going on in my mind. And I'm going to be honest. I feel like $35 is kind of a lot for these items. I mean, these I would consider sample sizes. Like the face mask, the lip mask, the snail cream, and the lip topper. I mean, they're very small. They're not full size. I think another factor you have to throw in is that these are coming straight from Japan. And you don't have to pay shipping. So I think they include shipping in the price, which shipping internationally can get super, super expensive. So I feel like if you were to try to order these online somewhere, the shipping would be high. Again, not sure, just kind of giving you guys my honest thoughts. Is this box like a boxy charm or a fab fit fun where you would order it to get good deals? No, but I think again, this company's niche is that you're getting authentic J Beauty and K Beauty items. So yeah, overall, is it the best bang for your buck subscription box I've ever tried? No, but I do think it is very unique. There's just something about J Beauty and K Beauty that just attracts me. I don't know what it is. I'm actually gonna go look up the unboxings from the other type of boxes. I really want to see that Yumi Twins box, the one with the plushies and the the Pokemon and Totoro stuff. I really want to see what kind of stuff comes in there. But yeah, that's what was in my No Makeup No Life box. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come by this video. Like I said, links for all the different types of boxes will be down below. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, morning, wherever you are. And if it's not a good day, if you're not having a good time today, 
do something nice for yourself to get through the day. Do some self care, do a face mask and a lip mask with some nice cream afterwards. Light a candle, make yourself some tea, go get you some pizza or ice cream, watch your favorite show, and just remember the sun will come up tomorrow and tomorrow is a new day, and just like what goes up must come down, what goes down must come up again, so yeah. Real quick, let's do a code word. Let's do, comment the word pink down below if you've gotten to the end of this video. I know my videos can be super long and rambly, but I like to see who ends up sticking around to the end because I really appreciate you guys. I feel like you guys who are here right now are like my people who get me, you know what I mean? So I want to make sure to recognize you and just tell you thank you for sticking around. All right, I'll let you guys go for reals this time.